Hello everyone, welcome to Royal Online Tutorials, the online education channel. Today in our video we are going to introduce international business and its third part. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe my channel. First, we are going to define globalization. So it's the connection of different parts of the world resulting in the expansion of several things. So we are trying to connect to other parts of the world. Maybe one business try to expand globally. Maybe we are going to expand in terms uh, of culture, in terms of food, uh, in terms of international cultural or economic and political activities. So it's the movement and integration of goods and also people among different countries. The different types of globalizations are divided into like let's start by financial globalizations here we will be giving an example about like stock market so here we will be talking about like the financial system the economic globalization when we talk about the multinational corporation itself so here we will have like easy movements of goods production capital and resources when we talk about the technological globalization so here we are trying to connect with other parts of the world through technologies such as television, radio, telephones, and internet. If we need to talk about the political globalizations, here we can mention like uh, trying to uh, facilitate the movement from one uh, country to the others in terms of policies and styles of government. Here we can take an example like the free trade agreement. In terms of uh, cultural globalizations, uh, here we will be talking about like trying to merge or uh, moving from one country to the other like uh, in terms of culture like sometimes we may see that the food is expanding all over the world sometimes maybe the language like the food wherever we go now we can see like the Chinese food the Mexican food etc in terms of languages like the English language is number one the, Span the Spanish English is in number two, and many other languages uh, expanding throughout the world. The ecological globalization here, uh, it's the process to see like the Earth as a single ecosystem, rather than a collection of separate ecological systems. Uh, because a lot of problems are happening, uh, we are trying like to focus on expanding on doing businesses without taking care about the environment so here we can take an example like the international treaties to deal with, to deal with environmental issues like uh, the biodiversity or the climate change the sociological globalization here it's the belief that we are all global citizens so we should have the same standard. We should act in the same way. We should have the same rights. A good example here is the woman should have the same right as men. Finally, to move to the opportunities, the globalization may give a lot of opportunities, maybe for firms in less developed countries to tap into more larger uh, markets around the world. They may give them like the access to uh, to reach another market and to move globally, to make more money, to increase the level of technology, to increase the human capital, cheaper imports, larger export markets. Also, it helps uh, the uh, businesses in less developed countries to become part of the international production networks and supply chain. But at the same time, we have a lot of threats. Like we can take the first one, the effect on income inequality is due to the growth of international trade. The second one, like the global commerce uh, are increasingly uh, dominated by transnational corporation. Here they will seek to maximize the profits without giving any importance to the development needs of individual uh, countries or the local populations. At the same time, an important threat here, the volume and volatility of capital flows uh, increases. This may affect and may have a risk on the banking and uh, currency crisis, especially in the countries 
who are not doing good financially or economically or they have like weak financial institutions the same for the competition when, when we do have like strong competition among the developing countries so all uh, the countries will try to search for more investment without giving any importance to the environment so here the countries will be dangerously lowering the environmental standards and finally the cultural uniqueness is also lost in favor of homogenization and universal culture uh, that draws heavily from the American culture. So if we need to take like summary about the positive and negative sides effects of globalization, if we need to start with the positive ones, including a number of factors. First of all, in terms of education, uh, this may give us like uh, the opportunity to increase uh, our uh, uh, knowledge uh, level. Uh, and uh, the level of experience through being open to the whole world, uh, being more educated, uh, having like uh, uh, easy access to uh, education, especially nowadays the online education. Uh, in terms of trade like uh, and investment, uh, as much as we will start operating in more than one country and moving from one country to the other, as much as the level of, the level of investment will be bigger, and uh, we will be like increasing the sales and making more money. In terms of technology, of course, we will uh, we will move from the regular uh, and traditional methods into a more technological uh, methods and equipment, and then we will be following like and increasing uh, the level of technology into the advanced uh, level of technology. In terms of competition, like the competition will be more stronger. Uh, competing like uh, with um, competing in a new markets with other uh, and more and more countries this make the competition very strong and interesting in terms of employment uh, this may give like the opportunity to the uh, employees to uh, work in more than one country maybe they cannot work anymore in the local country they can move uh, to uh, and other countries such as Paris, Barcelona, uh, any other countries where they like and where uh, they are expanding. In terms of culture, uh, as much as you learn more culture, as much as you will be more rich. Because uh, learning a new culture, this may give you the access and the knowledge how to treat people, how to work with people. Uh, how to act and react in certain situation and finally the organization the organization structure as much as we uh, move globally and we reach more countries as much as our structure will be bigger and bigger in terms of negative sides effects maybe this effect on the security and stability of jobs uh, maybe uh, there is like terrorism happens sometimes like uh, uh, as acting un unethically um, we may have like the, the fluctuation in prices and in the currency of course when you move from uh, one place to the other or one country to the other you are not going to charge the same price you are going to take into consideration the economy of the country or taking you are going to take into consideration several things uh, within the same country in order for you to Put the price maybe the competition counts maybe the culture counts maybe the economy counts and also the difference and the currency okay because uh, dealing with euro is not the same with uh, dollar and and here you, you are going to see the, and to check the difference between uh, the local currency and the currency where you are operating thank you for watching my channel